Well, good evening. This is our. This is Craig Blanchett from my mobile office this uh, week. Um, it's uh, my privilege to uh, host and uh, be part of this weekly um, health coach training. Um, what we're going to do tonight, a couple things that we want to continue to do every week is um, really um, have a place for our coaches to come and to build the community. You can get training a lot of ways, but when you come here, we get to actually interact with each other and we, we um, are all part of the same team. And so that's fun. Um, I'm just looking to see if we have uh, any new faces that are on tonight. It looks like everybody that's on here so far has been on for a while. Um, we do have some new health coaches that have joined us, so we're going to work on getting them uh, to tune in here on the um, on Tuesday night. So it's Tuesday's nights at 8. We also do record this, and so um, I usually post it in our Facebook group each week after the recording happens, but you can find that on Vimeo or YouTube to search for um, Health Coach Huddle and then Blanchett, and you'll find it there. A uh, couple things, though. Um, last week's topic, um, kind of a, a short recap on uh, last week's topic, which we just talked about preparing for National Optimal Health Day. And so um, we talked about what we were going to do um, and what kind of an event we were going to do. Um, another thing that I wanted to say as we're starting off is um, always a good idea to have a, a notepad out and a pen. And uh, when you hear something that you want to follow up on, write it down, put a question mark next to it. And then if it's a to-do item, put a little checkbox next to it. And then when you do it, put a check in there. And then if it's just something that's a, an extra special highlight, you can put a little star in there. And it looks like we do have a guest um, that has joined us on the uh, Habits of Health or the uh, Health Coach Huddle. We've got Kelly, Kelly and Don. Hey, um, a few weeks ago, Kelly was, um, or last week, Kelly was entertaining some guests, but this week he's on with us live. So, he's Brian. Oh, okay. he's a pretty popular coach. Too, so. just walked in the door and so anyway, just I'm going to mute you, Don. And um, anyway, so um, I'm going to toss this over actually to Carrie, and um, she's here now from her roller skating extravaganza. <laughs> so she's going to go through um, celebrating our actions that we're taking. It's always important to, uh, if we don't take action in this business, things won't happen for you. Intention uh, won't actually do anything. Um, you have to actually take action on it. So I'm going to toss this over to Carrie. And we're going to talk about our next segment. So welcome, Carrie. Ha, thanks. Are, are we touching on client celebration? Or did you do that already? I, client story showcase. We did not do that yet. No. Nope. Because I was actually really excited about following up on that. Because you mentioned it last week. And so I was curious just if people have kind of had their radar out this week when you're connecting with clients. Is there a story you'd like to share, whether it's a new client or somebody that you've reconnected with or been around for the long haul? Does anybody have any stories from this last week? This is going to be a new segment we're going to do every week where you're going to really focus on one of your clients because that's the reason why we do all this. And uh, for me, I have somebody, her name is Nancy, um, and Nancy Mansberger, she told me that she wants to be known of as a, um, she, she used the word, um, French word for donkey, so we'll say a bad donkey uh, grandma, um, and um and she just, she's in her 60s, and she just wants to be a tough granny. And um, so we did a little interview with her, and then I friended one of her friends, and we got to talking, and her friend, her name's Beth, she says, I'm struggling with the same stuff, and Nancy's killing it. And I just said, would you like to talk about that with me and Nancy? And she says, would I ever? Hmm. And Nancy and her and I have been talking about her coaching, and she says she wants to do it, but... I just don't know if she sees that it can be real. And so this is, it's becoming real and it's super exciting. So that's my story. Awesome. I have one, Carrie. Let's hear it. Um, a amazing gal, Craig just met her. Her name is Cassina. She posts on our page pretty often. Um, she's kicking my butt. 
um, in the, I'm back on the, on a weight loss program since I'm not nursing anymore. And she just texts me every week with non-scale victories. And she is at 23 pounds down in her first month. She has more energy, um, then she, she's continually sending me pictures from her from last year and com- it's the it's the kind of client we all want to have I'll just say that where they initiate connection they initiate their celebrations their victories you know they're connecting with you um, they're calling you first on client call dates and she just decided to partner with us as a coach and it's one of those things where when you get um, you get to partner with people who who desire it and are they're walking themselves, right? We're not pulling them. It's a completely different coaching experience um, than knowing what someone could have, but they're so resistant or they just can't, they can't see it yet. Um, so she's been a joy to not only partner with, um, but also just keep me accountable. So makes it worth it. Cool. And is she going to be here next week? I think she said she had something tonight. She does. She has a business gig tonight, but yes, she's planning on it. Cool. Yeah. Awesome. Is there anybody else who has? I I do. So I'm going to go carry. This has some, it has to do with Don, my coach, Don Carpenter. And, um, I have a client who is on day eight today, I think, but I was following up with her and we were, we had a crazy weekend with, family moving in and getting settled and I connected with her and she said it was such a rough time I was about to connect with you and my coach Don got in touch with her so it was kind of the fun celebration she's getting the community and she said Don texted me right at the perfect time and I didn't know that and it was just like that's how it's supposed to be and it was fun because she just felt very supported in a time that was really challenging and it was nice for me because I wasn't available, but I could lean on Dawn without even knowing it. But, it. but it was, it was cool. It was a fun thing to celebrate it non-scale, like you said, Linda, but yeah, pretty awesome. Anybody else? I've got a quick one. Um, mine is kind of a scale slash non-scale victory. We've got a couple we've been working with. They started with us end of May, and their dream was to have, um, they had a son getting married in October, this coming, or September, this coming weekend, and they wanted to look very different in their pictures. And so she wanted to be 50 pounds down, and now she's 52 pounds down. And he wanted to, he just wanted to be different. (laughs) And he's 85 pounds down. And so they are so excited, you know, for this wedding coming up and um, the memories they're going to create and the pictures that they're going to take. So pretty fun. And that you said is since May? Yeah, they started in May. Dang. That is so fun. That's crazy. So fun. And and like you were saying, Linda, they're just they've been a delight to coach. I mean, they just yeah. they reach out for you, they follow the program, they're excited, they're sharing, and in fact they're looking at exploring coaching as an option as well. So Oh wow. I know. Fun. Thank fun thank stuff. you guys for those stories. That was really good. Like that touched me in a big, powerful way. That this is a great segment. I love this part. Um, so, moving on to the next segment, that will be just as awesome. Um, <laughs> again, following up from last week, and what action steps or what are you guys excited about? I know we have National Optimal Happy Day tomorrow. Healthy day. Um, <laughs> What are you guys excited about as far as action that you've taken since last week? Where was something you have planned? One thing that I've done is um, I'm not doing something on Wednesday uh, other than inviting people to Q&A with Dr. A. So the Habits of Health call is going to be Q&A with Dr. A. And then right after that is going to be the the National Optimal Health Day event. And so uh, it's a great opportunity for you to have you know, people just tune into the normal webinar. And then here, I love it when they do Q&A. 
because instead of him just giving a lecture, it's like really, it's good. Um, the other thing that's happening is I was in my neighborhood and I've been walking my dog through the neighborhood and my wife and I have started walking um, twice a week. And I was going through the neighborhood and I saw a, a guy that works at the fire station and I did a whole Habits of Health class there one time, but he never was a client. Well, I told him that I'm going to start a walking club for the folks in the neighborhood because it's a, it's a closed neighborhood where it's only one way in and one way out. So it's kind of this community of, of retired people, or not retired, but older people. And um, I'm old. I'm in this old community, right? But I, I said, you know, here's something I want to do is I want to start creating a walking group with people in the neighborhood. He goes, sign me up immediately. Sign me up. You know? And so I was just thinking, wow, I wonder how many people we can get in our neighborhood. We could probably get a, a group of 50 people. But once a week and then every five minutes I'll, I'll blow a horn and I'll say switch and we'll switch walking partners so we can all get to know each other and that'll be the activity and um, anyway so it's something that I'm working on and it's something I'm excited about and the next step is to actually just put the date on the calendar to start doing it it'll probably be Tuesday nights because I'm no longer racing on Tuesday nights so that's me that's good. That's awesome. Carrie, what was the question? It was in regards to national health the optimal kind of the challenge we had last week to do something intentional with connecting. So yes, that is an avenue that you can take that's already scheduled and planned. But even if it's something that like Craig's doing, it's not on the same date, but something that's intentional with building community and getting people connected. Uh, I joined some more moms groups on Facebook. <laughs> Awesome. What I did after I got home from California. It wasn't much, but how did you do that? Um, they, Facebook will, will recommend groups, and then um, I'll go on to friends that I'm, that I'm pretty close with or I know fairly well, and I'll look at the groups that they're on, um, or people will invite you to groups, and I'll get connected to something that's relevant and then get some people in there, comment. It's a great way to friend and find and new friends. That's what it sounded like. Like that's yeah. a good idea. Yeah, fits right into the three, three, and three, and it just expands my world a little bit when I'm at home quite a bit. So it's not as cool as Craig's, but you know, <laughs> you can still blow a horn. <laughs> yeah. Five minutes, blow a horn. <laughs> yeah. Who else? Christina, Rita, Martin. Anybody? Can you hear my? Can you hear me now? Is that, yeah. Okay. I, my volume was way down again, Craig. So I don't know. Well, I had something planned because uh, Brian hadn't scheduled his, but then Brian scheduled at his house, so his amazing, humongous house. And uh, so I started. I had a, I made a change, and so I have a lot of people that are going to come with me over to to Brian. So we'll be doing um, the viewing over there, and uh, of course he got a bounce house for all the kids that are going to show up you know because because <laughs> he's got a boatload so i went what well, bring your kids and and so that really didn't deter some people that have children um to go someplace else and so that would be that would be a lot of fun you know it's it's quite fun to do that so, but i am going to be um sending out the links for the q a because i love dr a's and the and national health so i've got to do some follow-up on that so they're doing something, I've been talking to my clients about doing something to do with help on Wednesday. You know, kind of each one was a little different. So just be mindful of that. And they're like, oh, okay. Yeah. That's a great idea, Rita. Uh, Rita. I tried to say your last name and first name together. I'm sorry. Rita. Um, yeah. um, does everybody know where they can find those documents or links that Rita is talking about? Does anyone need guidance on where that is? Nope, everybody knows where, where to find that. Does anybody not know where to find it? Is it on the email that they sent us? In the raises her hand. So oh, that's funny. Uh, TSFL Coach Connection. Uh, okay. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> You're so funny. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> I really tried. I tried. Nobody fessed up, so... <laughs> that was great. Awesome. By the way, one of the other things that I've been doing is um, 
is, uh, you know, we, we post before and after photos, but what better than a photo than a live video? And so I did one with Nancy last week. I did one with Kerry Coatsworth. He's going to get back involved with our group again because I reached out to him and just said, how are you? You know, he's like, I'm up 30. I'm down. I was down 130 and now I'm up 30. So I'm still down 100, but I need to get back. I got another, you know, 80 to lose. And so I did an interview with him today. And so I want to encourage you guys, if you've never done a Facebook Live, do a Facebook Live. If you've done a Facebook Live or a few of them and you've never, like, interviewed somebody, I dare you to interview somebody and just say, tell me about your story. Find one of these clients that you are so super excited about and say, can we share your inspiring story so somebody else's life may, may be changed? And when you present it like that, I've never heard somebody say, no, I don't want to share my story. Right? Because it's about inspiring somebody else. So I just want to encourage you guys with that. A great idea. And if you don't know how to do it, well, then ask. Don't let that stop you. Anyway, I'm done. Ask Grandpa Google. Huh? <laughs> awesome. Well, I think Linda's got the next, next little blurb of goodness. Heck yes. This is going to be, it'll blow your socks off. That's for sure. Um, Martin, Christina, welcome. Martin, you always look like you're brooding. Are you brooding? No? I get to tease him because I've known him for a couple years. I love Marty. Okay, um, next topic is, it's, and it's actually a perfect segue what we were just talking about, but tomorrow is National Optimal Health Day. And we've been covering this, <laughs> I know, it's crazy. Um, but the, this is a huge event for the company and for the nation, and it's really a fantastic time for us as health coaches to do something to create awareness in uh, our communities, our families, churches, um, so on and so forth. And so um, what we've been talking about it, but we wanted to kind of ask, where are you guys at? Um, do you have something planned? Some of you have talked about you do. Are you stuck? So who's willing to come off mute and either, yes, I've got something planned, or no, I feel stuck. I don't feel stuck I I think it just is um, not the right time for me to do something to to approach this specific thing yeah but there is something in the works to do at my church to to have like a healthy happy hour type thing at my church without any Optavia labels but that's something that is in the plan. But as far as National Optima Health Day, um, I've decided that I'm going to go live um, that day and talk about um, being a health coach and just um, the kind of things that I do and the kind of people that I help because nobody is um, restricted from, from Optavia help um, it's just a matter of what's in your way and everything, all the, the obstacle is the way, right? So yeah. that's love that. what I'm doing. Christina, that's awesome. Cause you're doing something, you're creating awareness, you're talking about it. So that's, that's fantastic. Um, who, who might be on the other, and that's more of what I'm doing. So maybe moms are doing something a little smaller. Who's on the other end of that? Who's maybe having some people over, um, having a meal. Kelly, I know you and. Dawn, we're kind of talking about that. What are you guys doing? Well, go ahead, honey. Well, we're doing a little um, get together at Carrie's house and inviting people over. Yeah. Yeah. So we've got several fun. coaches in the area, and it was just fun. We've got a messenger thread. And so this week, we just kind of threw out who can do what. And all of a sudden, we had people jumping on saying, you know, I can do this, and I'll bring a salad. And so we are going to, and we, our last healthy happy hour, we um, had a cooking demo, which seemed to go really well. And so we decided we were going to do a pasta bar without pasta. And so we're going to demo how to cook a spaghetti squash and um, 
do zoodles. And then we've got a couple different sauces. And so I love it's, it. it's, it's going to be fun. It's going to be kind of, it's, it's shaping up nicely. Hey Don, I'm curious when you, when you do an event like that, what's the first, what's the first thing that you do in order to make the event happen? We set the date. <laughs> it's so funny, but I have you have all these intentions of doing it, but I have the reason why the walk in my neighborhood hasn't happened is because I haven't set a date. Yeah, yeah, that's huge. Um, yeah. Thank you for showing or uh, sharing. Gosh, you guys, sorry, I had a late night with Reagan. Good thing this is a safe place. Um, just to wrap up this segment, we'll keep it short because we want to be on time. But what's beautiful about about what? Kelly and Don shared and what Christina shared and maybe I'm sure a lot of you guys have ideas but is we're, we're doing something and that's a win and you're doing it within your capacity and in the framework of what's relevant and that's the goal that's what we do as coaches we relate to people we build community so do something take a friend for a walk go live on Facebook have someone over for dinner and have spaghetti squash instead of noodles it's so simple don't overcomplicate it don't make it an all-or-nothing thing and you'll do great and you'll just get better and better every year so moving right along absolutely okay so i am wrapping up tonight with our action step and so i just want you to think about what is your next step um if you've got an event i would really encourage you to um really reach out and keep inviting and keep reminding people because people are busy and people will forget. And so I try to make it a practice to, you know, send out a text or send out a message to everybody who said that they were going to come or they were interested in coming and just kind of touch base one more time, you know, pick up the phone and call some people. So that might be your next step. Um, you might be still needing to get a date on the calendar. You know, that would, might be your next step. So just think about what's, <laughs> think about what's it for you. Um, and I guess something I'd like to encourage you in as we think about these events is um, maybe don't make it a once a year thing. You know, what if it was something that was on a more regular basis? Um, we're hoping to start doing ours every, once a month and maybe build some momentum that way and really build community. I like Craig's idea of doing the walking every week, you know, and it doesn't have to be something big, but I think. Um, it just it just gives us one more avenue to create community and to um, scoop people in to our healthy world. So I love that. So think about your next step. Uh, send a text message. Put something in the chat if you'd like and let us know what that next step is for you. But be sure to connect with your mentor and let them know. And then next week we're going to be looking at the new health assessment. And... Craig was going to be my tech guy, but I guess you're not, Craig, since you're... No, I can be the tech guy. Can you still be my tech guy? Yep. I wasn't sure I could talk and pull things up at the same time. So um, Craig's going to show us where we can find that new health assessment if you don't already have one downloaded and copied. Um, but we'd encourage you to take a peek at it. Um, print yourself out at least one copy of it so you have a fresh copy to, to look at. And so he's taken yeah. us. Through. So you go to coachanswers.optavia and then you mm -hmm. click on business support mm -hmm. and then document library. What? And then type in health. And then wait a minute. Health assessment right there. How easy is that? There it is. There's the new yeah. health assessment. And, it's Linda uh, Proof. That's what that means. Is. So coachanswers.optavia.com. And, um, and then you can also, I will post on our, I think you may have seen it, but I'm going to post this in the chat as well. So if you want to have the video with Becca Tinter talking you through it, you uh -huh. once we quit Zoom, it'll be gone. So if you go down in the chat and you click on more, it says more, you can click on save chat. And then you'll have that little link saved. And where do you find it afterwards? It's in your documents folder in a little folder called Zoom. Yeah, uh, Dawn just discovered that. She's yeah, had a I didn't stuff. know. Yeah. <laughs> and I did have other things in there, Craig. Yeah. <laughs> <You're right. laughs>
<laughs> so there it is. Yeah. So take a look at that. I'd really encourage you if you haven't seen Becca's video, it's very worth watching and it's very short. Uh, next week, we're planning to take some time to look at that document. If you've had some time to use it, we need you. We need your feedback and just how it's worked for you. If you haven't had a chance to use it, we need you here too because, you know, we, we need, you know, we want to and get some time to just get more familiar with the document. I think it's really going to help us figure out um, how to best serve the people we care about. So that wraps it up for tonight. Yep. So do you guys make sure that you each week, um, if we have structural tension in our lives, it means we're moving towards something every week. So you're either, you're either um, checking off one of the items on a weekly basis or you're completing maybe a full structural tension, but you want to constantly be moving towards the next thing. So every week, whoever is your mentor coach, you want to send them a, a Facebook message and saying, help me with this, or this is my next step. Because you know what your next step is probably better than your coach does, right? Because your coach may be, may be helping a lot of people. And so if you just say, here's my next step, ah, oh, perfect. So, um, uh, yeah, and then Kelly, or Don and Kelly just said, invite, reinvite, remind, and have fun at your event. And so uh, that is true. It's never too late. If you, you maybe not being able to invite all the people you know, so don't. Just call one person that you want to be there and say, hey, I want you to be there. You, specifically you. And if they say yes, well, call the next person. And maybe you call four people and those four people show up. I'm telling you what. It makes all the difference in the world when I have a personal invitation to something. So thank you all for your preparation and for your amazing um, presentation skills. And it looks like we'll be meeting a new coach next week. I'm excited about that. The news. I know Nancy's probably going to be joining us here as well. because She's probably going to join us as a coach. So thank you for your attention. And uh, we are doing the boot camp this um, Saturday at um, 7 a.m. Pacific. And this week we're talking about the client celebration call, which is when, when a client hits their first week, how to do that interview. So that'll be the topic this coming Saturday. And, still, right. and uh, we'll see you uh, next time. Thanks everybody. Thanks.